That's a big size so early in the morning. Did something happen? I was just wishing that Monday wouldn't come. You're having a blue Monday? Yeah, something like that. That was a lie. The truth is, there was another reason for my sigh. My name is Sho Tui, and I'm a sophomore in high school. The girl walking to school with me is Kono Kokono. She's the same age as me and my childhood friend. Two of us, as well as our families, have been close since we were in preschool. She's also my next-door neighbor. We've been in the same class for elementary, middle, and high school. And she's also the person I like. Hey, Sho. After school today, will you come over to my house? Uh, Kono also likes me, I think. I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm also not that clueless. There were a couple of instances that made me think that we felt the same way about each other. This obvious invitation was one of the many reasons why I thought that we felt the same way too. Some other reasons include the fact that she's touchy with me in a way that she's not with other guys. And a while ago, she got jealous that I was being close with another girl. Or so I think. With all things considered, I concluded that we felt the same way. I'm quite confident about it, too. I started having feelings for Kano when I was in elementary school. When I was young, I had a frail body and would often stay home after getting sick. I wasn't able to play with my friends very often and felt lonely. I didn't like being alone, too, so... I spent every day using my pillow as a tissue to wipe away my tears. In the midst of all that, Kono was the one person who always came to see me. What should we do today? We can do whatever you want to do, Konoe-chan. Let's play house then! You'll play the role of the husband who got caught cheating. I'll be the wife who gets revenge on him. Is that something normal elementary schoolers do? Just like that, she would always keep me company. But I asked about it later on. It's nothing. It's just because we're neighbors. Don't, don't get the wrong idea. That's what she said. She's a Sundare. Ever since I started having feelings for Kano, I've been working hard so that she could like me back. That's why I was confident. I was confident, but... Uh, uh, that was a super quiet sigh. If it was a super quiet sigh, it would have been something like small sigh, right? That's literally just you breathing. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel. If either one of us took that step, we could change our relationship from longtime friends to a couple. We're supposed to be that close, but... I wasn't able to take that step forward. It isn't because I'm a wimp or a chicken or anything like that. There was a different problem. Yeah, I had a good reason for why I couldn't be in a relationship with Kano. <sighs> yeah, I think you're just breathing. That's not the point here. That was the reason I was sighing. The girl I liked was so close to me, but I couldn't do anything about it. I would feel blue, even if it wasn't a Monday. If it wasn't a blue Monday, it's a blue every day. What am I supposed to do? There is a certain someone that I like. Mm. That someone is my childhood friend, Sho, who is sighing extremely quietly next to me. I think I started getting feelings for him in elementary school. Sho had a frail body and would often get sick. This lasted until he started middle school. I was his childhood friend, and since we were close, I looked out for and hung with him often. One day, when I stepped out of my house to run errands for my mom, the rain started pouring. I waited for the pouring rain to stop at a nearby park. It was so cold that I was shaking, but that was when Sho, holding an umbrella, ran towards me. Are you okay? Are you okay, Shokun? Apparently, he brought me an umbrella because I didn't have one when I left the house. 
he put himself at risk of getting sick from the rain even though he had a weak body. On top of that, he held my hand because I seemed cold. And more than anything, when I was feeling anxious and alone in the rain, Sho came to find me. I was so happy to see him. It didn't take long for me to fall for Sho after that. <laughs> uh. And those feelings haven't changed until now. I like Sho and I think that he likes me too. But basically, we feel the same way about each other. Or so I think. I can't be absolutely certain. But I'm pretty confident about it. I've never failed to work hard ever since I started having feelings for Sho. I'm confident that he likes me back. If either one of us take that step forward, we could start being a couple right away. But I don't intend to take that step forward. Why, you ask? Because boys want to be the ones to lead a girl, don't they? I'm an independent woman who can do things on her own. But I have to save face and let him act cool here. But Sho wasn't confessing his feelings for me at all. I've been making it obvious that I like him, so... Unless he's super clueless, he should have noticed. Sho isn't that clueless, so I'm pretty sure he knows how I feel. But... Don't tell me that he's a wimpy chicken. Oh, um... There's no way. Maybe I should test him. Hey, Sho... After school today, do you want to come over to my house? Uh... I invited him over, but his reaction was stale, and he would only give out the smallest of sighs. I gave him a clear hint, but why isn't he reacting at all? Hey, Shoal, my parents aren't home today. Uh... Uh... Excuse me, what was that? Is this on purpose? Is he really doing this on purpose? Is he playing around with me after knowing how I feel? <laughs> <laughs> I was going out of my way to save face and keep calm, but... Hmm? In that case, I have an idea too. Uh... Huh? I'm kinda getting chills. If it, if it comes down to it... I'll force us to take that step forward in our relationship. <laughs> what? King's game? Yeah, yeah, let's play! Let's do it! Why? Because, because we're, we're bored. bored! During our lunch break, my classmates suddenly invited me to play a game. But we have to play King's game? Kanoe chan said she would play too. Kano said that? That was unusual. Kano would act cool and normally turn down games like these. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll definitely win King and make sure to this and that. It seems like she's actually down to play. Uh, I guess I'll join then. And that's how we started playing Kings. Who is the king? The king? Did you just click your tongue just now? I threw a kiss. Oh, you threw a kiss. All right then. Number one and three. You have to hug. Oh, I'm number three. I'm number two. What? Did you just throw a kiss just now? That was me clicking my tongue. Scary. Oh, I have number one! That's awful. So the game continued on, when our lunch break was about to end. Who is the king? The king! Oh, it's me again! Why? I haven't gotten to be the king not even once. You wanted to be the king that bad? Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Numbers two and three have to catch a single piece of paper together with their mouths. Oh, I've seen videos like that online. That's so lame. Who would even do that? Oh, I'm number three. Let's do it. What? And that's how. Uh. 
we ended up in a troublesome situation. If our timing doesn't match, I might end up kissing Konam. Well, I mean, it's a kiss with a person I like, right? I'd be happy if we could kiss, but, uh... You better catch the paper, or else I'll end up kissing you. I know that. I'll put everything I have into it. How do I say this? Her glare feels murderous? Alright, let's start. <sighs> Jesus! Wait, what? Huh? Paper fell on the floor. So I... What? Uh, um... We're gonna end up kissing at this rate. <sighs> Her pupils are so wide, she's clearly ready for this kiss. But we can't! What? Yeah, kissing because of a game? That's not good. Uh, let's stop here. What? Um... Come on! We have to move classrooms for our next period. Let's get going already. Oh. Uh, maybe I wasted my opportunity. But I didn't want to kiss her when we weren't even in a relationship yet. Besides, I... Uh... uh... Oh, um... Cheer up! Don't worry, you'll have another chance! I'm sorry, you guys even tried to help me out. Well, I mean... Yeah, don't worry about it. I wish I had done that a little more smoothly, too. <sighs> yes, this game was all planned out beforehand. When I asked my classmates for advice about show, they told me to leave it to them and suggested this King's game. They arranged things so that I'd be able to be lovey-dovey with show, but... <sighs> that was a small sigh. I never would have thought show would run away from me. Sadness. Konoi-chan's face looks like an emoji. I thought Sho and I felt the same way about each other. But it was all just my misunderstanding. God, I can't do this. I can't get over this heartbreak. I don't remember much after that. I was blanking out and looking like an emoticon during the entirety of my evening classes. By the time I realized it was already our final class before the end of the school day. I think Sho tried to talk to me too, but I was too embarrassed to look him in the eye and left the classroom as if I was running away. And now... <sighs> I was taking shelter from the rain. I didn't think it would start raining so suddenly. <laughs> it's like nature is reflecting how I feel right now. I went and misunderstood that we felt the same way. Gosh, I was thinking that I'd make the move for Sho if he wasn't going to do anything about it. I was looking down on him and tried to force our relationship to take a step forward. As a result, I found out that it was all a misunderstanding. I felt like such a clown. It wasn't a laughing matter. It's clear now that I think about it. It's not that Sho couldn't make a move. He didn't like me in the first place, so there was no need for him to do anything. How pathetic was I for thinking he was a wimpy chicken? Did I think the entire world revolves around me or something? I feel like I want to be cooped up in my room forever. The rain isn't stopping. I feel depressed. You know? <laughs> I'm hearing Sho's voice now. Hey, Kano. Sho. Yeah, it's me, Sho-san. More importantly, here, a towel. You're soaking wet. Th thank you. Uh, well, you're real. What else would I be if I wasn't? Oh, it's you. Wh why are you here? Didn't I talk to you about how it might rain during our last class? I told you that I left an umbrella at school and that I'll let you borrow it, right? Uh, oh, I I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah? Um, but, but, um, why are you here? I thought you'd be soaking wet by now, so I ran after you. All this way? Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten wet if you walked home with me in the first place. Oh. 
Either way, I thought it'd be harder to look for you. I'm glad you were sitting here. It's so nostalgic. I remember that you were hiding from the rain here when we were little and thought that you might be here. I'm glad I decided to stop by. Oh. To know? I actually do like you. Huh? Shul, I... I like you. <gasps> what? Did you just confess your feelings to me? But what are you saying so suddenly? My feelings came pouring out. Is that so? But, I mean, I know that you don't have feelings for me. What? But why would you think that? Because you turned down my kiss earlier. You wouldn't have done that if you liked me back. Uh, that's, uh, I didn't think it was good to have our first kiss just because of a game. Well, do, does, does that mean, what if it wasn't a game? That's, um, well... I knew that you didn't want to kiss me. It's not that. Of course I want to kiss her, but if, but if I tell her that, she'll find out that I like her. What do I do? Is it okay for me to tell her how I feel? But it'll be harder to leave her if I do that. Hey, Shul. Wh what is it? I like you. <laughs> I told you my feelings honestly, so... You too. Tell me the truth. I... <laughs> I... I like you too, Canel. I knew it. We felt the same way. Th then... Can we be a couple from now on? That's... I'm sorry, we can't. What? Why? I'm moving. You're moving? Far away. <laughs> yes, this is the real reason why I couldn't tell you how I felt. When? Right after I graduate high school. Even if that's the case, why can't we be a couple? We'll be long distance, you know? I don't care about that. It's not gonna work out. So... The farther our physical distance, the easier it'll be to lose feelings for each other. I knew firsthand because I was always sick and missing school when I was young. It was hard to call my classmates my friends once I stopped going to my classes. When I went back to school after a while, only a few people actually talked to me. There were fewer and fewer people who did that as I continued to miss classes. In the end, no one talked to me. People get separated when there's a physical distance. I think uh, that's the same for both couples and friends. I did admire relationships that were so close despite being far away, but I knew more than anyone how difficult that was. That was why. I'm sorry. I can't date you, Kanel. But we feel the same way. I don't want to tie you down or make you sad, so this is the best decision. It's not... Besides, I can't believe you never said anything about something so important. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you! If you want me to forgive you, make me your girlfriend. That's, uh... You won't? Uh... Hey, Sho, how far away is far away? Next train station? Next train station? I've never heard of a place like that. Is it super far away? Uh... Uh, I'll go see you no matter how far away it is. I'm moving to the next train station. Huh? One train station away from the one currently closest to our house. Um... It's one train station away! Huh? Being one train station away is so far. We've been together all this time. I can't stand this. That's why I can't date you, Kudo. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. One train station away? That's like less than five minutes away by train. I don't think that's far at all. It's super far. Right now, we live right next to each other, but now we'll be separated by an entire train station. It's too far. If you think about that, yeah, we'll be farther away, but if it's only one train station away, we could see each other basically every single day. I can't stand it. 
How low is your tolerance? Don't tell me that you're okay with this, Kano. <sighs> of course I am. You're so mean. Do you think I'm stupid? <sighs> oh, the rain stopped. Let's go home. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Shul. Yeah? Let's hold hands on the way home. What? But that's what a couple would do. It's fine. Hurry up and hold my hand. Oh, yes. We walked home together while holding hands after that. Bonus clip. What do you consider long distance, show? Probably about 500 meters. That's so close. Really? In a video game, 500 meters is a super far distance. I'm not talking about video games. I'm asking how far a long distance relationship is to you. Probably around 500 meters. That's the same thing you said earlier. But in a video game... Why are you only talking about video games? But I mean, we're so close right now that we can touch, but we'll have to be 500 meters apart, you know? Isn't that far? I can't even hold your hand. I'm gonna be so lonely. Well, I, I guess if you think about how we can't touch each other, it might be far. Right? But in that case, we'd be separated enough to not be able to touch if we were 10 meters apart. I can still see you if we're 10 meters away. Let's try separating then. Huh, Kano, where are you? Your eyesight is so bad. Some people say that they'll make the effort to go see someone if they love them. So they said you're stupid for complaining about 500 meters. That's so mean!